Hello, this is Ruben and welcome to this week's sample cast. There's so much in the show this week, I'm not even going to do my normal introduction. I'll cover all of that at the end of the show. Let's get straight into the roundup. <laughs> So first off, a developer that I hadn't heard of until a couple of weeks ago, and they've just released their Telecaster guitar. They do an awful lot of guitar libraries for Contact, and this is their latest one. It's almost four gigabytes in size, runs in the full version of Contact, and in there you've got a strummer engine, uh, doubled samples for left and right panning. There's lots of different articulations in there too, including many different types of slide. It's got a nice clean sound, there's plenty of demos online to listen to and plenty of video walkthroughs. To me, perhaps a little bit too clean in the sound, but um, I'm sure that can be dirtied up with a bit of processing. Check it out at the Ample Sound website. Mode Audio have got a new pack called LA Beats. It's got a nice summary feel, loads of drums in there, key patterns, leads and bass, and uh, true to the Mode Audio style, you also have included a lot of different MIDI loops as well. So that's a great pack for hip hop and soul, uh, kind of interesting lopsided rhythms there. Head to the podcast to hear an example. Pendle from Soundus has a new module out, it's called Flutter Dust, and it's an acoustic, organic sounding, kind of 21st century Mellotron type instrument. It runs in the full version of Contact, and Pendle has taken existing sounds there from his collection and loaded them up into this instrument for further processing. The instrument, to be honest, it is a little bit difficult to explain. Uh, you will have to go and search out those walkthrough videos uh, on YouTube. Pendle does a really good job of explaining what's going on there and demonstrating the sounds that this product can create. I want to give a quick mention to my old friends at Sound Iron. They've got a new pack called Noah Bells that's out at the moment. And I've been chatting to them on email and they've told me they will have uh, one or two really exciting, huge libraries coming up within the next few weeks, so it's worth looking out for those. Noah Bells is a deep sampled library of 21 Indian bells from large to small. The articulations there include uh, mallets, fingers, brushes and slaps. The bells have been sampled with multiple velocities and round robins, and also in the time-honoured sound iron style, they've stretched them out to make uh, pads and atmospheres from the original bell samples. Runs in the full version of Contact and it's 3 gigabytes in size. Check it out at the Sound Iron website. The next couple of packs I've got for you are really exciting. They're by Umlaut Audio. Now, you might not have heard of this company before, but these guys have made private sample libraries for all sorts of AAA composers from Danny Elfman to Harry Gregson Williams. And these are their first two commercial packs. Uh, so there's one that covers uh, arcs and there's one that covers pads. I've spent quite a bit of time with these two libraries as I help create the walkthrough videos for Umlaut Audio. And I have to say that when I started the project with them, I kind of thought, mm, arps and pads, they've been done a lot of times before, what can be new here? But really, my mind was blown by the flexibility of these libraries, so uh, they're definitely worth having a look at. You can watch my own uh, walkthrough videos for those. They both run in Contact Player, which is a nice change for such kind of small libraries. Uh, the ARP instrument is my favourite. It's uh, really simple, relies on sound banks of four different types of sounds and runs them through arpeggios and loads of effects to create interesting rhythms. Pads is equally inspiring. You create tones there by using a bass pad and adding an overtone and again running it through lots of effects. There's free demos available from the Umlaut Audio website, so you've got nothing to lose checking those out. This week I've got a fantastic golden oldie. It's really the kind of golden oldie that isn't. So I'm introducing Super Audio Cart by Impact Soundworks. I was really excited for this library. I'm a massive fan of old games, old retro chip tunes, and this library really hits the spot. It takes the sound of seven classic video game consoles and wraps them up into a fantastic contact engine that's really versatile. So here you've got Commodore, Sega, and Nintendo systems, over 5,500 samples covering 600 different sound sources and you've got everything there from basic waveforms all the way up to full-on leads, basses, arpeggios and drum kits as well. This collection is a little bit different from your standard kind of chiptune emulator in that it's sampled from the actual gear. So they've gone out, they've got the consoles, they've stuck the audio leads in and they've sampled the hell out of them as well. So this includes all the artifacts, the phasing, the kind of dodgy timing and character of the original sounds. It's really great stuff, there's no software recreations here. 
The contact sample player that handles all of these sounds is uh, not just a simple player neither. It has loads of filter modules, an arpeggiator, modulations matrix. Uh, I have to say they sent me a copy and I was really blown away by the versatility that you can get out of these sounds. There's also complete control compatibility, so it was really fun to see my contact keyboard light up uh, with all of the different sounds and key switches on there. It is amazing fun, uh, especially as I say, for someone like me who grew up with these kind of sounds back in the day and started writing music on a Commodore 64. Impact Soundworks have been putting out some information on Facebook that uh, lead me to believe they're going to be creating some updates and regularly kind of juicing up these sounds in the future. So it's definitely worth having a look at. Uh, check out the link in the description. I thoroughly recommend it. On Bargain VST, I've got a few goodies for you this week. It's worth me mentioning that I do get a lot of uh, promotional material from various companies about their discounts, but a lot of these discounts only last uh, just one day or maybe a week, so it's not really worth me putting in the show. Uh, just for your information, I do only put into the show things that are at least on discount for two weeks or maybe a month, that would be even better. So let's kick off with uh, Native Instruments Complete and Complete Ultimate. These are on offer all month and you've probably seen the information about these online uh, but I do have a specific tip for these. If you're thinking of going for these discounts then worth doing it through time and space. Uh, it's the same price as if you got them directly from Native Instruments but you'll get a free 0G library with each purchase. So you get one with uh, Complete and you get two with Complete Ultimate. These are worth about uh, $70 each so it's definitely worth having a look through time and space if you were going to upgrade anyway. Plugin Boutique have got 60% off Isotope Stutter Edit at the moment, that's $69.95. With this you can create stutter, glitch and reverse effects, it's been made by BT, I mentioned him a couple of times previously in the show, and you can play those effects with your MIDI keyboard with over 800 presets. Uh, it's really versatile, I use it all the time myself, I've had it for years, it's worth picking up if you don't have it already. Or if you feel like picking up more Isotope goodies, then a few different distributors are doing an offer for the Creative Bundle. So that bundle includes Iris 2, Break Tweaker Expanded, Trash 2, Stutter Edit, and at the moment you get the free Mobius Filter and DDLY Delay plugins, which I've covered on previous episodes of the Samplecast. So uh, for this bundle, you can try Time and Space, you can try Audio Deluxe. I'm sure Isotope themselves will be offering it quite shortly as well. Have a browse around the internet, see what you can see. Lastly, another great offer from VST Buzz. There's 65% off Impact Soundworks Reforged. This is a kind of cinematic metals library. It's now €29.99 and I've got a couple of Impact Soundworks libraries myself. They work really well, nice crunchy sounds, really kind of aggressive sounding if you want them to be. Um, they're excellent all round really. This offer runs for the next two weeks so have a look to the link in the description below. This week's big review is Berlin Strings First Chairs from Orchestral Tools. You've got 67 gigabytes of samples here compressed into 33 gigs on your hard drive, it runs in the full version of Contact, and it's first chair samples from violin, uh, second violin, viola and cello. I've got a few Berlin libraries myself, I use them on a regular basis, so I think they're pretty good to be honest. In this particular one, the chairs have been recorded in their first chair seating positions uh, with all panning and everything intact. You've got multiple microphone positions there as well, including two different close mics. And this library can be used to complement the main Berlin Strings collection, or you can use it alone for a small kind of chamber ensemble, a quartet feel, that kind of thing. Each instrument is presented as a separate articulation in a separate NKI file, or you've got multis as well using the Orchestral Tools capsule system. Uh, now I don't have time to explain capsule in full detail, but basically it's a way of combining articulations into one multi in many different ways. So you can do that by controller or velocity switching, there's plenty of other options as well. This enables you to create bespoke mappings and MIDI configurations. I'm going to put some demonstrations of uh, Berlin first chairs on the podcast. But uh, here are my initial thoughts. It really does sound great. There's a nice clear interface and I love the Sordino and soft low layer functions on there as well. I also really like the easily editable dynamic curves and legato level adjustment. 
Also, the two different close mic positions do sound markedly different. I can see a use for those in different kind of contexts. Uh, they're really handy. Sound-wise, I really like the viola and cellos, but the violins are also great. Um, the price as well is a massive plus point. It's uh, 299 euros. There's a discount at the time of recording this, which you might be able to catch if you're quick. Uh, I think that's a really reasonable price for uh, the amount of work contained in this library and something of this size. They've obviously done a lot of editing here. So it's a general thumbs up for Berlin first chair strings, but um, I'm going to give you a few things which you might want to think about before you jump into this library. Uh, firstly, there's a shame there's no contrabass. Um, I know it's not really a first chair, but it'd be nice to have it anyway, just to round out the string section. I was a bit surprised that it didn't run in the contact player, only the full version of contact. That could put you at a disadvantage if you've only got that. And the rest of my niggles kind of really come down to personal preference and how sort of perfect you want the sound of your libraries to be. There are some noise and tuning issues in the samples. Um, personally, I don't mind that. I think it sounds a lot more realistic that way, but some people might find that a little bit troublesome. Um, there are some editing issues as well though, which I can't really forgive. There are a few clicks at the end of samples and some slightly inconsistent performances. For example, some forte notes have a far more scratchiness uh, in them than others. Uh, some spiccatos are a bit longer than others on different keys. And there's an audible bow change in some long notes, but not others. Bow change, I don't really mind, but um, a bit of consistency would be good across that library. Also, when it comes to consistency, the panning is a little bit off in some of the instruments. It's nowhere near as bad as something like uh, East-West Gypsy Violin, where the violin sounds like it's coming from all over the room. But um, definitely that maybe should be tweaked in an update. I don't want to make it sound like these are all deal breakers. It's just personal preference for me and little things that I managed to pick out. Overall though, I think Berlin Strings First Chair is a really good library, definitely worth checking out. The demos online sound absolutely fantastic and in my time with it I had a really good experience. There's quite a few updates out this week. We'll start with Morphzilla 2, which is available from Contact Hub. This is for glitch, drones and atmospheres, runs in the full version of Contact, and there they've uh, given it a new interface design and additional sequencer and effects pages. So have a look at the Contact Hub website for that. Next up, PSP Audio 608 Multi-Delay. Uh, I recently received an update email about this. Uh, it looks so old school, like all the PSP plugins do, and uh, the PSP website looks uh, pretty dated as well now, to be honest, so guys, it'd be great if you could update that. Uh, regardless of that, I really love the PSP plugins, um, especially their saturation and EQ ones. So this particular update of their delay plugin has new reverbs and new presets, and there's a special offer as well which I want to let you know about. If you buy it from a company called Audio Deluxe, I'll put the description down below, it's $49 instead of $149. Lastly, Time and Space have been promising me this one for a while and it's finally come out. It's Prisma by Rob Papen. It's not actually an instrument in its own right, but it's for anyone who already owns maybe a couple of Rob Papen synths. It's a free plugin and it lets you stack up to four Rob Papen instruments in one go and you can control perimeters simultaneously there. You can also create keyboard splits, and this goes especially well with the Explorer 3 bundle of all paper instruments, which has just been released. Uh, it's heavily discounted at the moment, uh, check the link for the description, and there's cross-grade offers and things available as well, so have a look at that at Time and Space. Thank you for watching this week's sample cast. I'm sorry it was an extra long one this week. I hope you managed to make it to the end. Don't forget about the podcast. It's there on iTunes, RSS, Android, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, and basically anywhere you can get your podcast from. It's an extended version of the show with more demos, tracks, interviews, that kind of thing. Also, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter. You can go to the Samplecast website at thesamplecast.com. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye-bye now.